It is finally time for another random character design and today we are going for something snowy. Hello everyone and welcome back. I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas and it was great and everything you did everything that you wanted to do. Um, we are back to kind of normal videos and I wasn't sure if I wanted to do this random character design to be very Christmassy or just wintry and I ended up going wintry because it's just cool. I like it more to hold the characters I guess. Um, so what I did is that I went to this other website that I haven't gone to before who actually gives you quite a detailed description of the character, even a name. And I thought that was quite cool. I might not go use all the stuff that's in it but quite a lot. So I'll read it to you. You already saw the random selection in the beginning Um I just let it roll. So this is the description I got for this character. Black shoulder length hair clumsily hangs over a full tense face. These sentences are not very good by the way, they're very random and I guess that's part of the, the thing. Um, glistening blue eyes set buried within their sockets, watch delicately over the children they've grown affectionate of for so long. Jesus, this is a long sentence. Um, tribal marks in the form of one stripe under a right eye <laughs> marks her rank. But more importantly, leaves a pleasant memory of fame and glory. This is the face of Jade Lam, a true hunter among humans. She stands an average. See, she stands average among others, despite her fragile frame. There's something obscure about her. Maybe, perhaps it's the persistence of, or perhaps it's simply her fortunate past. Ugh. But nonetheless, people tend to befriend her while commending her for her deeds. So, as I said, this is like random, it's a, it's a, ugh, a generator, but this it's more of a sentence, not just like random words, and I quite like that. Um, I didn't use most of it, so what I went for is, um, I wanted to do add in snow, so <laughs> I wanted it to be snowy themed, but I wanted to follow the description that I got from the generator. Uh, and I ended up going for kind of a shaman-ish uh, woman, and I wanted her to be kind of young but kind of old as well and she is uh, watching over her children well the children of the tribe and she uh, she's stern but she's quite kind as well if you know it's she's like a harsh love kind of gal um, I, I think a lot of my characters I've done have that kind of personality just because I like it a lot so I drew inspirations from quite a few things and the first thing was of course like Ex Eskimos and uh, more oh gosh mongolians there we go and also the sami people of norway is very present um i wanted to use uh reindeer antlers uh, just because it's a very northern thing um so kind of look at her as the northern native americans basically which is, is a cool kind of culture to kind of play around with and make a new one up um just because we have so many different northern cultures that is, exist around the world so this the one from norwegian <laughs> norway is um the sami people and they live up in norway and they have i think they have the, the monopoly for all the reindeer in norway so nobody else but the sami people are allowed to own the reindeer which is a bit interesting um but they have this um national dress suit which is very blue and very red and i thought that would be kind of cool to use um, they also have this hat which has, has like four spikes coming out of it and also pointy shoes like just pointy shoes so i wanted to put that in and also kind of use the red and blue but more of a purpley red because i really like that color and i think red and blue be is a little bit too much Somehow just having purple and pink kind of makes it more magical and I don't know why pink and purple has that effect on me but I see it more of a spiritual color <laughs> if you want to say it like that. The weird thing about this character design is that I went in knowing what I wanted the thumbnail of the video to look like. I wanted her face to be framed by fur and her dark hair would be contrasted with the white fish fur and it would look really cool with her blue blue eyes and just... 
it looked really cool. And it ended up like I wanted it to, but it's just funny how my final image in my head was not just a character, but it was <laughs> the thumbnail for the video. So it was a, it was planned all along. That's that's why it looks like this. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to think of what I came like what I was inspired by, and yeah, usually most of the the cultures, of course, and the typical shaman with a staff kind of. Uh, is in there. Um, I tend to play a lot on stereotypical portrayals of shamans and different characters just because it is the way how we read people. This is how we figure out where we stand in relation to other people and I I don't mind it. Um, you can prove me wrong if, <laughs> if I read you wrong and that's kind of how I see the world I guess. Um, and I, of course, googled a lot of Asian-ish faces because I wanted her to be quite Mongolian, I think, I wanted to go for, um, just because I think they're beautiful and I love their faces. Uh, anyway, let's talk about my process. I have a rough sketch, a very, very rough sketch, and then go right into line art, and um, that's been kind of my thing lately, where I just do line art right on top of the very rough sketch. I think it's just because that's how I, my brain is working at the moment, which is which is very great because it takes less time than doing another sketch. Um, and then I am blocking in the colors and later I will put in the shadows and some highlights and some details. Um, one thing that was quite interesting that kind of annoyed me when I was drawing this uh, was all the details I tried, like decided to put in the skirt and the, the pattern why did I have to put so much part of in? But I was looking at the Sami people in Norway again and they had a lot of these yeah, red and blue and white kind of patterns and I was like, I have to add that in. Um, there's something with cultures where they have certain patterns that they use a lot and you just have to add it in if you want like a character to look like they actually belong to one culture that you made up, but it's supposed to look real. That's the whole point of designing is that you you're making it up but you're also not making it up you're um what's the book stealing like an artist yeah where you take different things from different places and put them all together to create something new and that's how you create everything that's kind of how we can't really imagine how the future will look um because we have no idea of what can come up uh, somebody can like mix and match and come up with science fiction ideas but we are never sure what can actually be invented before it's actually invented. Like, um, I heard somewhere that uh, before the cars were invented, people were imagining dreaming up. Before, like, they weren't even thinking about cars like we know it. But they were thinking about robotic horses that would pull the car characters instead of real horses. <laughs> and that's how you see, like, you can't imagine the car before it's there. And then everything else is affected. Anyway, uh, what I'm trying to say is that you have to mix much stuff to make it seem real for us people who are not geniuses and come up with new cars. Anyway, I feel like I'm derailing. Uh, let's go back to the character. Uh, I'm giving her a tribal tattoo under her eye at the moment. It is a simple, very, very simplified part of a Sami people symbol for witch doctor, which was perfect. Um, it's not the right one, but it's inspired by it. If it means something else in another language, I'm sorry, and I hope it's not <laughs> offensive or anything like that. Uh, but it looked nice in the end, so it looked cool. Um, I must say I'm pretty, pretty damn happy with how this character came out. Um, there is also one moment I want to mention that comes up right this second, I think, where I found a picture of the snowy landscape with like ice and stuff, and I put it in the background, and it fits perfectly. The perspective is just perfect, I just have to mention that so when you see it, you'll know it. Um, but anyway, I love how this character came out, I'm, I'm really really happy with it. And I have to do more random character designs, because it's just... It's something fun about not having to design something specific, but still having to design... Oh, there it is! Nice block thing. Okay, anyway. Um, I really like how it came out, I hope you guys liked it as well. I keep rambling over these videos, but that's just how it's gonna go right now, so... Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you want to leave a comment commenting about maybe she has some backstory that you came up with when you're watching her being created so I really want to know what you guys think and what other things you can come up with for this character. Anyway, I will see you guys next week. Bye bye.